Hey guys! It's HPP, and we're back at the Heights Camp in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Now, last time, what did we learn? Ah, oh, there was some kind of song. Some kind of, uh, oh yeah, that's right. We've got word here. Which means we can now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Oh, also, we're gonna start this off with something a little different. Because this guy, a rare ability to dash over hill and vale on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand out of the balloon race? The game I invented myself. What's a balloon? I don't know. Let's say 17 balloons. Alright, we're gonna do his quest. Uh, how about a kid wanna play? I'll give it a try. 30 balloons. Now, you do get better rewards for smashing all the balloons. We'll give this a try for right now. We're just gonna run through the balloons. That's how you win. The appropriate thing to do to drift loon so they don't take more children away. So I'm just gonna run. Don't hit the geodudes, they will try to get in your way. I mean geodudes are in cahoots with drift loons. Not really the tragic ending I was expecting. Oh oh. Uh ooh. no, this is the right way. Wait, no, I don't think it is at all. I don't think it is at all. Oh no no no! I totally, totally went the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna right back to that. I took a detour, you see. Right off the beaten path. We didn't even we didn't even get. Huh. I feel like we had to get some of those for that moral oral guy. Okay, let's try this one more time. I don't want to waste everybody's time with uh, balloons for uh, for anybody that was in high school or middle school in the early thousands balloons on like whatever flash gaming website you could get played the crap out of that just like anybody else in their early teens oh I missed one okay this is not a perfect run but we're only here to get 17 and 17 we shall get and I wait okay Alright, focusing, we're focusing, we're focusing, we're thinking about deer, thinking about dashing, thinking about dashing deer, nope, nope, not going there, oh, missed one, this is only one, we're gonna ring around this rosy, ah, here they are, oh, that's an awkward camera angle, yet somehow, we still got it. Still got it, baby! We went the right way this time! Yeah! So bad about missing that one, though. Like right there, and then we can just jump and miss that one. Would have been would have been 30 if I did those two, but you know what? We completed it. We'll worry about 100%ing it later. Not really a much different reward. So just, just give us our completed quest. That's what we want. Yeah, there we go. Rare candy, nice. And feather ball. Feather balls are interesting because they're basically the opposite of. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna throw this ball of mud away. I don't want the balls of mud. Someone else can have them right in their face. And we're gonna move uh, all of these feather balls because I want to show off feather balls. Anyway, come on, word here. We have a very important mission today. We gotta get down to. Oh, see, I knew. I do. Oh no, nope. I thought that was a fast travel point, but it's not. But it's not. So we're gonna run this way. We're gonna run over the hills and through the woods to Grand Mon's house. We go. Okay. So that's not working. So we're just gonna dash on our new deer. We can take too much damage from falling, though. Uh, I have died many times just by jumping off a cliff, going, "Yeah, I could do this. This will be fun." Crunch. You know, where deer does not thank us for crushing his legs. Like, come on, man. I trusted you. I trusted you, man. You were my guy. I met you one time. Alpha Bibarel. Yeah, we're not exploring this time because beating, beating Cleavor will unlock some more things for us to do. So we're just kind of beelining our way to Cleavor. Dash, dash, dash. Whee! This is much easier. So much easier. 
Um, uh, hmm. So I do want to look for a scyther real quick. Hey, hey, y'all see that scyther over there? Got him. Feather balls go very far. <laughs> and they can catch Pokemon like Scyther unawares. Okay. So back to Grand Tree Arena. Hi. What do we got? So you say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleavor's frenzy? Uh-huh. 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 What? You'll match up Cleavor's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach, and if and I do say so myself, you galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows my mind. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor from a safe distance. Who knew? Hold on, Leon, don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleavor's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. Plump beans. Yeah, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I had forgotten all about you, being so forgettable and all. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the LAC team. Look, you already asked me for help. Can you just stop being so obnoxious about it? Please? I could leave. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outside. Do you want to do it? I'm not going to force you to not throw the things. If you want to throw the things at him, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Pokemon is close as sisters. If I could beat Glaceon and you. Okay. We have a boss fight with Irida. And she just has a Glaceon. Okay. Alright, Oshawott, get it. So, ice types. We're familiar with Glaceon. We, uh, we all remember Mr. Slush from, uh, Mr. uh, oh, I could've, I was fast enough, I could've swords danced. No! You know what? I'm gonna swap in to Ponyta. You will, you'll take that hit. Oh, wait, it was swift. It was swift! It wasn't an ice move! Remember Sir Slush from Blazing Emerald. So, this Glaceon isn't as good as that Glaceon, but, it, it, you know, it's the, it's the Glaceon that counts. We like Glaceon. Good Pokemon. All the Eevees are good by me. I like every Eevee. Even Flareon. And Oshawott, level 17. Oshawott can evolve! Oh, Ponyta learned a new move. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. You learned all that from me beating up your dog? Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Throw them at him! Clay... or Clay? <laughs> it looks like Clay, okay? Okay, Irida. How did you not catch this? I mean, maybe you weren't here. That's fair. That's fair, that's fair. We'll just explain the plan again. See, now we have this entire sack of food. A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor, if anything can. Usually it's me. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Uh... Let's not be hasty. Not ready, I gotta evolve my Oshawott. Are you serious? Okay, we're, we're fine. Just, 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 just let it be. I just want to evolve my Oshawott because I can. Because the game is awesome and lets me do that. You can change, like, anything from the menu. It's the perfect way for a Pokemon game to be designed. At least in terms of user-friendliness. Some people may not like this style of gameplay. I'm not one of them, I understand. But as far as stuff like that, all the Pokemon games should work that way. Do what? Now we have do what? Should we do what? Okay. All right, Clay. <laughs> just, you, it's just miniature Clay, okay? Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon mighty Cleaver Lord of the Woods. All right, let's do it. Err. HPP mad. All right, now this is a little bit different from everything we've been doing. Oh, mighty Cleaver Lord of the Woods, though this isn't yet time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. 
benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. The Mellish repeated, keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Yep. Grisha! That's what we're going to have to do, all right. Oh, boy. He was in that big old tree. We're cutting it down. Oh, nope, there he is. Yes, that... Oh, my God. That is Cleavor. Cleavor is a new branching evolution of Scyther. Bugbrock has giant axes for arms. Very cool. I like Cleavor a lot. I did not use one in my uh, initial playthrough of this, even though there's scythers abound. I actually used a scissor. Uh, a friend of mine used a cleavor, so we both did uh, different ones. I wanted to see how scissor stacked up pretty well, because it's scissor, but they have the same stats, same stat base stats as scyther, just, you know, allocated differently. I always thought that was interesting. Claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it till its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you're able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. You win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down. Okay, so basically, we gotta get the hell out of here. Ow. Hey, I'm bombing you. Just throwing bombs. Bombs! Eat it! Eat the food! Ow. Okay, uh... Okay, we're, gonna, we're gonna throw more bombs! Eat it! Eat it! They're satchels of food! Take the food! Woo! That was close. Oh man, okay. Coming at me again. Just dodge, just throw, just dodge, and duck, and dip, and dodge, and duck, and dodge, and dip, and throw, and... I missed the chance for throwing a Pokemon again. It's okay, we're just gonna overwhelm him with food. It would work on me. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Okay, I'm not gonna... Not gonna miss it this time. But, just to basically cover how this works... You're just playing chicken with him. Oops. Ow. Almost there. I guess. I guess we're just doing it this way. And... Okay, well... It's... <laughs> <laughs> He's down. We didn't even have to send in Duat, who I was really excited to do, just go in and Aqua Jet him. But uh, we did it all by ourselves. No Pokemon required. Because I kept missing the opening for it, apparently. Hey man, are you, you calm now and less glowy? Look at all that XP that gets you. Good lord. Now he's a whole lot less menacing, but still really cool. Like all the jagged rocks, stone axes. I think that's literally the name of his move. His unique move, stone axe. Just a cool one. Bug rock is an underrated type, especially for an attacker. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease? Does this confirm the strange lightning was to blame for Cleo's unnatural power? Yet, yeah, maybe. What What do you want me to do? I was here to throw food. And technically have a Pokemon battle, but we had time for one of those things. It's balls, but... <laughs> yep. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning is indeed Almighty Sinnoh's power? Were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with his plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. No, I'm just a heathen. I'll burn y'all. Remember, the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Proclan safe from dangerous Pokemon. But power sent by true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. 
Thing we accomplished just now, it needed to be done. Glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across the other Pokémon in the group of this painful frenzy, please help them. Mm, yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly and composed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pro Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier as a token of my thanks. Can I... is it something good? Citrus berries. Alright. I mean, it's a good held item. It really did fall out of the sky. I can't imagine the reasons at play. Wouldn't mind seeing Lee Cleavor in such a frenzy again. Yes, you would. He was cutting stuff up and hurting things. And Come on. Okay. Just to give us... So there's going to be a whole lot more for us to do in uh, Grand Tree Arena. Oh, now we can fast travel to Grand Tree Arena. And this is the balloon race. I'm going to pick up this request, and then we're going to leave. We got a Scyther, so that's a new thing to do. But I'm going to see what this request is. I bet I know what she wants. Probably a rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. Oh, er, hello. Didn't see you there. Here from the Survey Corps. I want to learn about Cricketot. Must be curious about them as well. How do they make those sounds? Complete Cricketot's page and show it to me? I mean, so I can uncover the truth? I don't think I've already done... No, I haven't already done that. Okay. If we want to catch a bunch of Cricketots, we can go back over to the Heights Camp. But for now, we're going to talk to Professor Laventon. And he's going to give us some stuff. We not quite not gonna quite hit uh Oh, actually, Oshawat Uh Scyther Air slash X Scissor. Huh. There's an Aqua Jet thing for Duot as well. Well if I'd actually been able to fight <laughs> Cleavor, we could have seen Aqua Jet a couple times. But no, I had to miss that timing every single time. Look, it was a it was a Pokemon it, it was a Pokemon versus man story. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have there? Could it be Ah! Two of the fabled plates of old! Please let me have a look. I have to lick them. Some letters carved to them. This one says where all creation was born. That is the being's place of origin. It must be a phrase from a very old myth. How'd you come across these? I was given to the by very powerful Pokemon that I stumbled across. Rest Wordier and Cleavor? Quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. Some kind of racist. I guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. Gather them all and decipher the scripts on them. We may un uncover, the uncover something amazing together. Mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive at such times. I must be on my way. Until next time. Bye, Bolo. Okay. Can't ride wordier here, much to my disappointment. But let's just go check in with Commander Komodo. Not really anything I want to do in here at the moment. There are a few things that we can do. Well, actually, no, I don't think there are, because I think it has to be a different time of day. And I think right now we're shoehorned into dusk, because that's when it wants to, uh, when they want it to be for this part. So up we go. Wait, wait, wait. There's a new request, quest, quest. Gotta have these requests. Nick, there's a good lady to investigate. Zubat's eyes. Some requests of the Lord. A peculiar ponyta. A rather strange ponyta. You must investigate it for science! No other requests. Okay. And we're just gonna. And there was a thing you might remember. In uh, Ponyta's Pokedex page, there was one thing about finding the strange Ponyta. This is that strange Ponyta, and I think you can probably imagine what's strange about it. Hmm, well done. I've already received reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us, one that fell out of the sky or sky. You have saved the galaxy team admirably. I admit you've earned yourself a degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. Or that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Heastway. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you're truly an asset to us. That's all. You're dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. 
Alright, Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods is complete. Time to go eat more potatoes. Potatoes? Hey, instead of frying these, can you boil them, mash them, and stick them in a stew or something? Please serve these a potato mochi. Anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend, you know. I had quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against Cleavor without any Pokémon. I dare say HPP was well prepared. He was a quick study of how Cleavor moved in battle, from what I heard. Now that is true. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned! We can feel safer about our Survey Corps duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? The recipe I made based on directions Vinny gave me. Cooking smoke bombs! I think those basically give you a free runaway from a Pokémon that sees you. Take our study... Chance to study all the Pokémon and the, they call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Do 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 HPP. I've been waiting for you, HPP. My name is Vesa. Something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? No. Do not go with the strange lady at night. Kind of a secret, but terrible has happened. He's facing a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. For some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, HPP, hear me out. I will need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Glows with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. 107 of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. One real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? I, I, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go do it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go across here and grab the spooky ghost. Just for you, lady. Let's get the spooky ghost. Nice, now it's in us. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this, um, quest. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. One last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here while you carry out your search. Good luck. Okay, stuff is definitely going bump in the night. Because, uh, oh boy. Next day. Do I, do I get to vibe? I guess I don't get to vibe. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge? Hey, you're a piece of a boy who called Cleavor, aren't you? Huh? Who's to say? I knew it! You had quite the reputation, you know. You called one of the almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. Without any Pokémon. <laughs> I'm a Rezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. You... what are you... what are you warden, exactly? Okay, we're gonna help a Rezu next time. Maybe. We might just go about our merry way. Like thought, I do want to come over here and talk to this guy. Nope, nothing, nothing yet. Wurmple just still wurmping. Alright guys, in the next part, we will explore... Uh, no, we will finish some of these requests, and probably go back and explore some more of the Obsidian Fieldlands, because I don't think we can quite move on to the next area yet. But, if I'm mistaken, and we can move on to the next area, then we'll do that, because there are some things I definitely want to find there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.